Hey everybody, this is Karen with Food and Family. What constitutes comfort food for you? Some, it's chicken and dumplings. Some, it's macaroni and cheese. I know both of them are comfort foods for me. Um, it can be just anything, right? My mother-in-law's, one of her favorite comfort foods was chicken asparagus casserole. And I'm gonna make that today. It was something that she dearly loved in her last few years. She didn't cook. So I wanna make this for her. And I've got her recipe and her recipe card right here. I don't know if you can see it. She had it wrapped in plastic. So uh, we're gonna get started. So she tells me to cut up two whole fried chicken breasts. Well, I have just boneless, skinless chicken breast. We don't need the fat from it. And I've got a 10 inch skillet getting hot. So, and I've got my oven preheated to 375 because we're going to bake it. So she tells me to cut it in like two by four inch pieces. Well, I'm not good at measurements, so I'm just going to cut it up. And um, we'll go from there. I wouldn't suspect you'd want them too small. You want to know what you're eating, right? I do. Okay, so look, I cut them up about that big, if you can see that. So let me give my hands a good rinse, a good wash with soap. I washed the chicken before I came on. And my hands, so now I'm washing them again. I wash my hands a lot when I'm cooking. Do you guys do that? Here's my time one. So we need some oil in our pan. Now she calls for half of a cup of oil. I don't think I'm gonna use quite that much. I don't think we need that much. Okay, so let's, while that's heating up, we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Now, she tells me to use a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. That looks good, don't it? I might use a smidge more. And she tells me to use one and a half teaspoons of salt. You have to season this because you've got to get it all the way through. That's a half a teaspoon. Let's use another half, and I think that's all we're gonna use. I think that's enough salt. So we're going to mix this up. Let's just kind of stir this around. We'll have to wash our hands again. And then we're gonna get rid of this board. Yes. Okay. Let's just use the scraper, what I got it for, right? Hear that sizzling? in that pan. Now, let's get rid of this. Wash our hands again. Now, see, I use plastic when I'm cooking, cutting up chicken. So let's get something to stir that around with. What do you say? Spread that out in this pan, we just want to get some good color on it because it's going to bake in the oven. So, it, get in there. So it'll quit, it'll finish cooking in the oven. So we're going to kind of break them apart. So they're all in individual pieces. Look, stop. No more stirring, right? I want to show you something before we go on. In my last couple of videos or so, I talked about making some homemade caramel. And Stephanie was with me, and she told me and us that she boiled her cans of sweetened condensed milk. Take the labels off, put them in a boil, slow boil, several hours, and you've got caramel. Well, I had a viewer friend tell me, because some of them have the pop top lids, 
it's possible that they could explode. So she said she puts hers in a mason jar, seals them real tight, and puts them in her slow cooker. Well, guess what? That's what I did. So I had six cans of condensed milk and four pint jars. And I made some of the most delicious, can you see that? And beautiful caramel. It is, see that color? It is amazing. My husband is a caramel nut and he loves caramel in his coffee. Not his morning coffee, he wants his morning coffee. Just straight coffee. But he likes uh, to juice it up a little bit in the evenings with some caramel. I just wanted to share that with you. It has nothing to do with this um, recipe at all. I just thought it was interesting and I wanted to share it with y'all. I hadn't shown it to you. So, okay, on with our chicken asparagus casserole. I've got a bowl here. Now, she tells me to... Um, let's see, we've got to put our asparagus in this dish. Now, she says use a nine by nine. I've got an eight by eight. So I hope, I think that'll just make it a little thicker. It shouldn't affect it. So I wanted to spray it. And we're going to put our asparagus in it. And I know you know how to do asparagus. Let's see, let's leave that rubber band on. I'm gonna pull out one, take it on each end, and where it snaps is where you cut. Throw that away or save it and make stock with it. You can make a vegetable stock with it. So what I'm gonna do is I lay it back down on the bundle and as a guide and I cut off all those stems the, if it's that's where it broke it's going to be woody so it won't be good to eat when it's like that so I'm going to get rid of these I've got a a bag back here like a grocery store bag that I put my uh, scraps in so, just a little tip for y'all. Keep it in one spot, and when you're done cooking, pick it up, throw it away. And my husband likes me to keep these rubber bands. They're good, they're thick, and they're heavy duty. So, he likes them for certain things. He was looking for some the other day. Now, I'm going to cut these into pieces. About like that. And we're just going to put them over in here. Now, I'm using fresh. Her recipe calls for two 10-ounce packages of frozen. But I wanted some fresh. Okay, I'm going to wipe my board off a little bit. Okay, so what else does she tell us to do? Oh. So she says, put it in the bottom of the pan. Uh, then we've got to put our chicken over that. But we're going to go ahead and mix up, she says, to mix our soup, uh, cream of chicken soup, one can of cream of chicken soup. And that's what we're going to use. I've got cream of chicken soup. Use whatever brand you want. That's what I had. She says... Mayonnaise. You cannot go wrong with mayonnaise in a dish now, can you? Oh, uh, how much mayonnaise? Half of a cup of mayonnaise. I've got Duke's mayonnaise. Oh, I think Duke's is the best. I love Duke's and Hellman's, but whatever your favorite is or in your area. I don't think everybody can get Duke's or Hellman's. If you can get it, Tell me what your favorite brand is. A half a cup of mayonnaise. I still say you can't go wrong with mayonnaise. Mm. You know, there's a lot of casseroles that call for mayonnaise, isn't it? Half a cup of mayonnaise. Lemon juice. Now, I had some lemon wedges, so I went ahead and squeezed out my lemon juice. 
and it's a teaspoon, one teaspoon of lemon juice. Now, where'd I go? She calls for curry powder. I don't have curry and I don't expect I'm gonna be using it so I hadn't bought any, but I've got some turmeric. I'm gonna try just a little bit of turmeric in it and see how it does. It calls for half of a teaspoon we may not put quite half of a teaspoon. I put about a quarter of a teaspoon. And that's it. Can you believe how few ingredients that is? All right, so that's ready. So all we need now is our chicken. And I think we're gonna be taking that up. I wanna get a slotted spoon. Give me just one second. And let me get my slotted spoon so we can leave that oil in the pan. We don't want it in our chicken. I mean, in our dish. We're gonna sprinkle that over this asparagus. We'll spread it out. and put this on top of that. So I'm gonna spread it out here. Mmm, and it's pretty. Y'all know y'all hear me say it, it pretty a lot on a dish, but you know, if your food doesn't look good, it's not gonna be appetizing to eat. I miss Stephanie. I've got to get her back up here with me. She and my youngest son just come back from a early anniversary trip. They went to New Orleans and just had a good time. Parker stayed with his other grandmother. And then he came and stayed with me for a couple of days while they were gone. Now looky there. Isn't that just nice? Now the best part. Cheese. She says to use a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Well, Pop Jones is not crazy about sharp cheese. So, I'm using a mild. I don't think it matters. I think it's whatever you want. And I know that's more than a cup. But how can it be wrong? Looky there. How can it be wrong? Look. All right, now I'm going to put this in the oven. And she tells me, to, oh, I've got to bake, cover it with aluminum foil. And she tells me to bake it at 375 for 30 minutes or until it's done. Which I know that chicken, it was almost done. And... So it won't take long. So I'm going to get this in the oven. And when it gets done, I'm going to bring it out. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay? So y'all stay. Yeah, our timer just went off on the chicken asparagus casserole. Now, I took it out a few minutes ago. After 30 minutes, it was hot and bubbling. The cheese had melted. But I uncovered it. And I put it back in for just a few more minutes because I wanted to get that cheese just ooey gooey. So let's take it out. And I want you to see how. Ooh, look at that. You see how it's bubbling? Oh, that's hot. We're going to sit it right here for just a minute. Now, I want us to try it. But that's just way too hot to try. So let's let's dip us out a bite. And we can let it cool for just a minute while we fix this a glass of sweet tea. And I've got a salad that we're gonna have to go with it. So oh, is that not beautiful? No wonder she loved it so much. My mother's mother-in-law's name was Gloria. And 
she was 92. Oh, looky here. And she loved this casserole. Look at there, how beautiful that is. Now, we gotta let that cool a minute because that is just simply way too hot. Remember the other night we made some wedge salad? Well, you know, I had some left over. It's too good to throw away. So we're gonna have it with this tonight. I've got my wedge and some of the goodies left over on it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of dressing on it, my favorite dressing. I like this ranch. Get it in the produce section at the grocery store. And I tore off the label, it's Marzetti's. You may recognize it. I want a little salt and pepper on my salad. You don't need anything else. If you want some little crusty bread, maybe. And I think that's all we need. I'm going to make a glass of tea using my ice maker. And it is full. My good, I love this soft ice. Here we go. And let me get my tea out of the refrigerator. I forgot to get it out. I made some y'all's sweet tea. Mm. Let's move this out of the way. Oh my goodness. What a meal. What a meal. I don't know what more we could ask for. Let me too hot. So I want to... Mmm. No. Oh, that's delicious. Let's get some of that chicken. We want some cheese and asparagus with it. See, that's the perfect bite right there. You can see. Mmm. You know, yeah, that is just as delicious as I remember her making. I think, I think she, she would be very proud of this dish. And I know she would certainly enjoy eating it with us. So, I appreciate you joining us today. And I hope you come back soon. And we'll try to get out some more of these older recipes. I'm going through my recipe box from the family. And uh, we'll see what else we can come up with next, okay? Thanks for joining me tonight, and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks, everybody.